What is up, everybody? Uh, my name is Viola. I'm the host of the Cerebral System here on Transcended. On this channel, we talk about a lot of mental health content. Excuse me. Uh, LGBT content. Uh, we do vlogs, gaming, spoken word. All kinds of different stuff on this channel. Anyway. I want to talk about something that's been kind of on my mind a little bit lately. And it's becoming more and more frequent. And it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. And, you know, I know this is nothing bad. This is just something that happens with DID and various other disorders. Derealization. I've been, uh, I've been dealing with that a lot lately. And I do want to point out that, you know, this could be just the fact that I'm, I'm not getting out much or that I'm not really thinking too much about where I am or anything, but I don't think that's it. Because there's something very odd going on with me. Um... For those who don't know what derealization is, it's uh, it's a very unique sort of feeling, and I'm I'm just gonna give you some symptoms to kind of kind of help you understand what I'm dealing with here. Uh, derealization symptoms: feeling of being feelings of being alienated, alienated. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking. From or unfamiliar with your surroundings, for example, like you're living in a movie or a dream. Feeling emotionally disconnected from people you care about, as if you were separated by a glass wall. Surroundings that appear distorted, blurry, colorless, two-dimensional, artificial. Or a heightened sense of awareness and clarity of your surroundings. Distortions in perception of time, such as recent events feeling like distant past. Distortions of distance and the size and shape of objects. Episodes of depersonalization derealization disorder may last hours, days, weeks, or even months at a time. Now, obviously, this is a page about, you know specific disorders. Now, but these do have, these things do happen with DID, which is why I'm bringing it up. Um, I've literally been experiencing something, and I've kind of talked about this in, like, just kind of one-off comments about it. <clears throat> I'll go out with family to walk the dog, and I'll be looking outside, and my first thought, like, we'll be outside, and we're looking around, and my first thought is, this doesn't feel real. This doesn't feel real at all. I'm looking around, and it feels like a video game. It doesn't, like, it looks and feels that way. Like, I don't feel like I'm actually there. You know, and that right there kind of scares me a little bit. It's a very weird feeling to walk outside, look around, and be like, this doesn't feel right. You know, and I don't know if I've ever gotten this feeling during the day. I might have, actually. Like, but I, I think I actually have at least once or twice, but it's more, it happens more at night, which I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, after all. I, I don't know. I'm not questioning my diagnosis or anything, but I, I don't know. It's weird. But uh, the feeling of feeling... The feeling of being alienated or familiar with your surroundings, like you're living in a movie or a dream, or in my case, a video game, that is very common, and it kind of it kind of feels odd. Emotionally disconnected from people you care about as if you're separate of a glass wall. That's a daily thing. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I haven't felt really connected to many people anymore. Like... Don't get me wrong, like, I do have connections, and I do care about people, and I'm not gonna act like I don't, but I do have moments where I'm just, like, I feel very emotionally distant from a lot of people that I care about, and it's not personal, it's not anything that anybody's done, it's just, like, especially friends, like, I'll have a friend, like, call me on Facebook or something, and I just, I feel like I don't want to talk. You know, I don't want to do anything. I'll give, like, short answers to everybody messaging me unless it's absolutely necessary that I talk in full. And same thing with Discord. Like, it's it's weird. Like, I don't want to be disconnected, but I feel that way. Like, <clears throat> it's almost like, like I've shut myself off, and I don't like it. And it just... Man, I, I'm out of it, like, just thinking about this stuff. Uh, surroundings that appear distorted, blurry, colorless, two-dimensional, artificial. Heightened awareness, like, that's the one that's been 
kind of, it's been kind of hitting me a lot more lately. I've been very, my, like, whenever I go outside, it's heightened awareness. Like, everything, I'm aware of everything around me, and, you know, it should never be that way, but it is. Uh, distortions of perception of time, feel, recent events feeling like distant past, yeah, like, that's another constant thing. Like, something could happen to me, like, a day ago, and I'll be like, oh, you remember that thing a couple days ago? And they're like, you mean yesterday? And it's like, was it yesterday? You know, and I did that at work, and someone really looked at me like I was nuts. Like, when I used to work retail, they thought I was crazy. You know, it was, it was really weird. Uh, distortions of, of distance and the size and shape of objects. I don't know if I've ever experienced that, necessarily. But, you know, I, I don't know. Like, for me, derealization happens. And it is... Or at least I think it happens. Like, maybe I'm completely off base about this entire thing, and if I am, I'm sorry. But, as far as I'm aware, this is what it feels like. And, you know... This makes me wish that I was still where I was in being in therapy so I could talk about this with somebody professional. But, um, you know, things happen. But, you know, I want to point out that derealization happens to people regardless. You know, it, it does happen occasionally to people without any disorders. But it's when it's constant and it starts getting really, it starts weighing on you that it just really kind of starts to, it starts to affect you a little bit. Like, uh, I was a little bit, I was very affected, I should say. Not a little bit, but I, I'm losing track of my train of thought. Like, I'm actually dissociating from this. I'm just like, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna cut this video here. I figured I'd just ramble a little bit about derealization and how it feels for me and you know, the fact that it feels like a video game is what kind of throws me off a little bit. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate you stopping by. I always do. If you like what I do here, like, comment, subscribe, all that good kind of stuff. Helps me out a lot, especially with this algorithm. It is a mess. Remember, you're beautiful, you're valid, and you're important. That is very, very, very important to me and everyone up here. And I will see you in the next video I make. So until then, goodbye.